All right, so here we are, um, and I've re- I'm so disappointed in myself because, you know, the devil's in the details, and I obviously didn't pay attention. I thought this was the last week. It says the finale. I didn't realize that after the finale, there's a rose ceremony. What the hell? Anyway, we're watching this stupid show because one of us um, made a deal with the devil and said they wouldn't watch The Bachelor until there was a black bachelor. Enter Matt James, and we're stuck watching this shit show. Yeah. Um, what do you think of today's episode? Um, uh, I got a lot of thoughts about today's episode, of course, as I always do. Of course do. you do. Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> um, I'm a little opinionated, if you know, if you didn't know that over the last 20 years of knowing me. Yeah, yeah. Just a taste. Um, so a few things. Um, first off, I want to say kudos to Matt James. I think Matt is a good dude. Mm-hmm. Um I think he's a good dude, you know, and he might, you know, kiss with his eyes open and maybe not have game and all that stuff that everybody's been joking about on Twitter. But I think overall he's he's a good human being. And so kudos to him for going through this process. I mean, I can't think of putting yourself out there as much as you have to on these shows, even though there's some mm-hmm. corny shit, you, you still got to do that. So kudos to that. Right. Um, I think his, um, he comes from a family full of feels. I mean, watching him connect with his family and everybody crying. I'm like, why are y'all crying so much? I don't get it. Uh, his brother though, his brother's daddy a G wasn't around. That's why. <laughs> yeah. His brother is a G like that dude sitting there just looking at people just with that side eye. Like you ever just meet like somebody has that, he had the gold grill and everything. Um, but his brother was a G. So, uh, so there was that. I thought that was cool. Um, even though I think a lot of people at this point knew who was going to get picked, it still was, it still was sad to see what happened to Michelle. You could tell she was a hundred percent all in. She made the matching jerseys that said, you know, Mr. And Mrs. James on the back of them. It was cute. And the whole time you're like, he's about to crush you right now. And you did this really (laughs) sweet thing, you know? So, so that was bad. Um, I, you know, I, we, I said that, you know, he was going to pick Rachel because I was the only one that he said that he loved, but I don't think they're going to stay together. Um, he has he has a tough time making decisions, and you know his daddy issues. He's got to have to deal with that shit. So he's going to be dancing on a pole next week, huh? <laughs> Something. <laughs> Something. You know who knows? Well, if he can do it without like crying, you know maybe. <laughs> hey, give me a dollar so I can stop crying. Yeah. Well, he's going to be like doing lap dances with his eyes open, looking people in the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the thing about this. Um, as you can tell, I'm, I'm I'm not at home. I'm on the road, um, and I, I try to log in and watch watch the show, and I can't because go, hey, log into your home Wi-Fi, you mother. <laughs> and the way these hotels are nowadays, you remember how they used to give you that thing that showed you the, the TV, yeah, um, and let you know what's to what channel. This one starts at channel fifty. So I've scrolled uh, all the way back down to one. It doesn't work. I haven't been able to, I haven't been able to pick up the show. Um, so I'll be honest with you, I haven't seen the show tonight, right? Um, but I will say I knew I was right, that he was going to pick Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't mean he was going to pick Rachel. You meant he was going to pick a white girl. That's yes, what you exactly. meant. Exactly. Well, thank you. Well, I didn't want to make this about race, but since you want to bring race into this. <laughs> You Why can say it, it the whole time. You t- Why is it always about race with you? <laughs> you've, been, you, you've been that way the whole time. And so I'm just like, okay, you knew, you felt he was going to pick a white girl. I felt he was going to pick Rachel. So I guess in this case, we are both white. Right. We are both white. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing about this. And I, I will give you that, that you, that you said that. But in the very beginning, you said he was going to pick somebody who was, who was mixed, right? In the very beginning mm-hmm. of episode one. I said he's going to pick a white girl. You said he's going to pick somebody mixed. But then you made the, the astute observation that he said to Rachel, and he's the, she's the only one he said, I think I'm falling in love with you, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the same way that I said to you when Serena was like, yeah, I think I'm falling in like with you. I'm like, she is not feeling him. And you're like, yeah, but she's still the number one draft pick. And I think what you meant by that, and I'm, I'm, I must clarify this because, yes, she was your number one draft pick. You didn't think that he was going to pick her. Just that if it were you and it was Terrell James, The Bachelor, Terrell James would have picked um, uh, Serena P. Just like if it was Yanni James, we would have picked Bree. But, you know, 
we don't kiss with our eyes open, so therefore yeah. we didn't make the bad choices that he did and pick the antebellum party attending um, sorority girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, may- maybe he's trying to do like a like a reverse get out, you know. So you take one, you, you taint them with that that black love, and then you convert them. Maybe he was trying to like switch. I don't it's know. It's not get out. It's let me in. It's like... <laughs> let me in. Yeah. Let, let me in. Oh, you're definitely not getting walked out today. Get in here, girl. <laughs> now, if, if, it, if it were me, Serena P and I would be watching a hockey game right now, you know, having beers if mm. it was if it was me. But he went the route talking that he to went. Boot, he, would you all be doing the rest of your talk, life? T- talking to boot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> eh? <laughs> but I, I think he went with his heart. He he chose who he chose. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't think it's going to work out. Right. But he chose who he chose. I hope he finds happiness. I, I really think he's, all jokes aside, I think he's a good dude. Um, yeah, and I respect indeed. the fact that when times he wasn't feeling it, he just kind of told those girls, you know, what he felt instead of kind of like dragging it out. Um, and like doing the whole, I mean, imagine if he did the whole date with Michelle and then the next day was like, yeah, it's, it's a no. Um, and then, you know, I mean, it'd just be worse. And so I, I, I respect the fact that he's comfortable having those conversations. I understand the journey he was going on. I think he still has some growing to do as a man. Um, mainly because, you know, you got to deal with a lot of your shit before you can get involved with someone else. And so until I don't see, you can't get into a relationship with somebody if you have all these issues going exactly. on within yourself and i think that he's just not he jumped into this with the best of intentions it seems like but he has his own demons that he's going to have to deal with before he can get into a relationship so hopefully he does that um and maybe you know his brother will be the next bachelor you got you got to watch the show his bro- the look on his brother's face was just like <laughs> it's just the look on his face you're just like he's looking at all these girls just like yeah you full of shit <laughs> but you're my brother, whatever, whatever you want to do, you would do, which I respect that because like, if yeah. my brother was, was telling me I'm going to marry somebody I, I, that I just didn't agree with, mm-hmm. he can still do it, but I'm going to tell him and be like, Hey, seriously, seriously. Yeah. You, we we you know. know, we, we know you would do that. Yes. You and I both know you would do that. Keeps it real. You, you've, you've, you've done that. Not even about marriage, just about dating. I've so, done it for you. you know. I've done it to you. <laughs> I, I, I have. And was I right? Apparently so. Cause look where we are today. Exactly. You're welcome. And, <laughs> <laughs> I will say this though: he's definitely matured over the season. From the "I'm so nervous, I'm so scared." When I was when he did that in the first episode, I'm like, "Jesus Christ, dude, man up, grow up here." And yeah. what we learned were a, a couple things that we learned throughout the um, throughout the, the the season, which is the diff- easy ways to just to, to one break up and two the easy way to to end end the night. You know, hey, let me walk you out. Let me walk you out. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Now, the the one thing that came up in this show, and and this went pretty wild on Twitter. So he's sitting there talking with his mom and he's kind of like, you know, rubbing her leg, rubbing her knee. And it's just weird. Right. I mean, and they just maybe have that type of bond. You know, I I can't imagine sitting there talking to my mom and just kind of rubbing her thigh and just talking with her like it's just different. You know, I'm so assuming I'm not you don't it's... mean his mom because the way you told that just now for somebody who wasn't watching it. Because remember, there are people watching this recap that didn't watch the episode. So, go ahead. You yes, talking about I mean, his mom, of course. I am talking about his mom. But he was rubbing his—he's rubbing his mom's. Yes. Leg? Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, I was sending. I was sending like, like Holy it, shit. Do, do you not have like cell service? Because I was sending you all these memes from Twitter to your phone that about what was going on so i thought you were watching it but yeah it's just i mean i think they just have that bond they're just that close which is great i'm not knocking that i just i thought it was a little weird probably because that's not my that's not me mm-hmm. and probably not a lot of people you know but that's the relationship that they had and so a lot of people on twitter were, were kind of joking about that um the Oedipo complex obviously okay but we'll leave that alone yeah so uh but yeah i mean i'm I, I I will say after this whole experience, mm-hmm. I understand why people get into these shows. I still don't like them. It, it's not for me. I'm never going to do this again. 
Yes, no matter what the reality show is, I'm yes, not doing this again. Yes, no, you are. Just no, the bachelor, record, yes, the record is the, the record is shown. I'm not doing no, it. No, the but, record is showing you a lie right now. So, so to all all the women out there that I was talking a lot of shit to uh, after episode one, that I'm just why do people like this shit? Da, da, da. I get it. I totally get it. Um, I still think it's bad TV, and I think it's bad for women. I think um, the all the different obstacles and hoops they have these smart, intelligent, educated women. Yeah. That bring a lot to the table. Yeah. Go through for this show. Exactly. It's stupid. You know, and that's it's why just I don't stupid. like this show. It's it's demeaning yeah. to women. When you look yeah. at some of the other shows, then at least it gives them at least it's not them having to jump through hoops to make themselves look bad. If they look bad, it's because they made themselves look bad and put themselves in their own situation to do that. And guys, too. Um, you look right. at uh, um, a 90 Day Fiance or Married at First Sight. That's just based on individual um, characteristics that people have and experts who match them just for our entertainment. So, Because um, <laughs> some of them you're going like, I know you didn't think they'd make it, but you needed this couple for the ratings. I know yeah. you did. I yeah. know you did. And that's the yeah. only reason I wouldn't go on a show like that was because I was like, y'all would make me the person to be <laughs> for it, the ratings. That, that's, no. that's why Queen Victoria was there. So exactly. I'm curious. I'm, I'm going to watch the after the, uh, after the Rose ceremony that... Mm. Um, um, Acho's doing, yeah. and I don't know if he. This is like a test for him to see if he can take Chris Hansen's place. But uh, Emmanuel Acho, I, I have a lot of respect for that guy, so I kind of want to see what they talk about. Um, yeah. I, my gut is gonna say that Matt's gonna come out and say that, yeah, that shit didn't work out. You know, single <laughs> again. Uh, okay, but they're yeah. also gonna they're also gonna introduce who the next Bachelorette's gonna be, and uh, so I'm curious. Fingers so crossed it's Abigail. Prediction. Who's it going to be? Who's who's going to be the next bachelor? Let's make the prediction right now. Uh, do I have to pick one? Yeah. Can okay, I pick let's two? Go. Let's, go. let's go top two. Mm-hmm. Top two. Top mm-hmm. two, I would say Katie and Abigail. Okay. And I will say Katie just because uh, a little birdie told me that Katie was going to be the next one. And by little birdie, I mean some blog that I saw somewhere along the way that I happened to be scrolling through on Google and went, oh, really? Well, that's interesting. And I can see... I can guess I can see why. Um, who would I like to see? Um, not because I'm going to watch it, because, again, this is the first and last time you'll yeah. ever see me watching The Bachelor. I'll never watch The Bachelor, none of that other bullshit. Um, I'd say Brie, though. Um, of course you would. Of course I would, just because I wanted to say her name one more time. Um, not because I think she'd, she'd be entertaining, but, hell, Matt wasn't entertaining either, and we still watch this entire damn season. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, if it's Katie... I'm curious to see what guys are going to come up with when they get out the car. You know, she came onto the show with a dildo in hand. I'm Mm -hmm. sure they're going to come up with something that's over the top. But I'm not going to watch it, so it doesn't really matter. Come on. Married at first sight? One time? Mm. Hard pass. Well, 90 Day Fiance, you'd be lost. So, Temptation Island? Come on. Hard hard pass. We'll talk about this. Yeah, we can talk about it. And, we, and we'll talk about it, then we'll do it. Because you know what? We ride together. God damn it. We die together. Fine. <laughs> Bad boys for life. <laughs> we'll be back, god damn it. We'll be back. Yes. 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 <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> yes, I know. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs>